Hey guys out there on YouTube land, it's your VHS Collector Call here with a uh, video that I uh, uh, recorded or pretty much filmed I should say um, while I was at the Retro Palooza uh, video game convention. Uh, let me wipe away that sweat. Um, of one of the panels. Uh, this is really the only panel I, I, uh, I filmed. Uh, I didn't film the whole thing because I thought, well, hopefully I'd be able to just film this and then maybe, you know, link a, uh, the other video that they made uh, while I was filming, as in when, when I turned it off and everything, uh, and then you'd be able to go and watch, you know, them because I'd hate to be filming something that they were filming. Plus, my camera would have probably have, uh, lost all of its juice and I would have had to charge it up just to be able to do some more filming and that would have took a while longer. It would have, there would have been so much stuff that would have been uh, cut that you wouldn't have got to see that wouldn't film. So, uh, this is uh, Mike Matei and Ryan, uh, Mike and Ryan, whenever they, uh, him and his buddy, uh, James was not there, as in the angry video game nerd guy, uh, but Mike was, and his friend Ryan, which were really nice. I, I, I got to meet them, but I didn't really, I was an idiot whenever I did it. I was more of like a stalker. I just, I had bought some uh, little, like, you know, uh, flimsy mag magnets, as in like real, real cheap magnets while I was there at the convention people have made and one of them was a Pac-Man so I thought hey he, I know he's a big fan of Pac-Man so my friend was already over there talking to him uh, I didn't film that either and so I just walked up with my you know as my friend's talking to him and I go here you know and I, I don't really say nothing I just say and he goes, oh cool I'll, I'll add this to my collection but I didn't say anything I didn't say you're welcome thank you or hey I, I like your videos I, it just seemed like I was, you know, so I, I seemed a little bit of a, oh, however you want to call it, uh, shy and everything, because I'd had a, a lot of questions I wanted to ask him, and then I never did, never did ask him and everything, but, um, hope you like the video, uh, it's just him and Ryan talking for a little bit, uh, you do see close to the end of, of the video that I, I, I made that, or filmed that they start to play uh, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, uh, Manhattan, uh, I can't remember whatever the name of the, it's the NES and everything version, but uh, they start to play that and like I said I cut it off. Like I said, I would have recorded it, but I wanted to give a chance for them to have their... And they, they were filming it, too, whenever I stopped filming. Uh, filming, whenever I stopped filming. So I was hoping to link down below to, the, to their video so you'd be able to get to watch them as they're playing it. Uh, hopefully it'll come up soon. I've been trying to look for it so that I have it ready. Uh, couldn't find it. Can't find it anywhere. Uh... Maybe y'all can find it, but um, uh, hopefully y'all enjoy whatever I, I filmed right here. It's not really much. Uh, there's maybe a few questions that were asked and everything and that were answered, but okay. Well, uh, guys, uh, till next time, uh, this is your VHS Collector Kyle here saying, frogs, bears, chickens, and things, boys and girls and women and men from all over this world, please, please, be nice to each other and uh, have a happy Thanksgiving uh, that, that's another thing uh, look out for my uh, my Thanksgiving video that'll be posted um, either on Thanksgiving or after uh, it just depends alright well uh, guys uh, see you later have a good day bye So you probably already guessed. Oh, <laughs>
playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, The Manhattan Project. Um, how you doing, guys? Uh, this is my second time out to Texas. We, uh, I, I was out to the SGC convention. Was anybody at that convention? Anybody here? A few people? Yeah. Did you see me there? Yeah, yeah a couple know. years ago. But, uh, yeah, this is a cool convention. Um, so, we thought that we would do something uh, that we really like to do because, you know, a lot of people do these um, Q&A sessions and all that and sort of <laughs> make it all about themselves. But why are we at this? Why are we here? Because of video games. So my perspective on this is let's play some video games together and let's you know, actually show you what we do, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, which is record these videos and, and play games. That's why I really like to do this. Um, this, this is a game that, uh, it's a little bit of a harder Ninja Turtle game. Ryan and I recorded a video uh, a little while back. We did the second game, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. Are you guys familiar with that one? The arcade, uh, yes. the arcade game? Mm -hmm. Which was, uh, you know, it was an arcade game, but then it was ported to the NES. And this is, uh, this was not in the arcade. This was uh, an original for the system. And it's a cool game. So, uh, that's what we're going to be doing. <laughs> you have a question? I've seen him in a long time fan, so I assume it's like 10 years at least. So my question is, James uh, Roth, uh, like when he, I know that the Navy Jan makes the character, and um, it's like just a personality, but in real life, would it be expected for him to actually become legitimately angry with <laughs> Some of these games are reviews. So your question is, does James get actually angry at some of the games? Yes. Yes. <laughs> the, ca the character is somewhat, somewhat real, but not. You know, it's it's like a it's like a, a exaggerated version of his well, real well, self. Yeah. And he's obviously not like sitting in a room playing games like that every day. He's got you know a wife and kids and everything. But but yes, when we, it, hey, watch this show we do called James and Mike Mondays, <laughs> and you will see uh, you will see us get pissed off. And uh, I, I know I'm just, I'm just being sarcastic. I'm just joking. What's that? Oh yeah yeah thank you. Um, yeah, yeah. Right. So I have a kind of a similar follow up question to that. A, does James really like Rolling Rock? B, if so, God, why? And B, what's your favorite? I actually had that discussion with him just the other day um, about the Rolling Rock, and that started because James and I met in college, and um, he came over to my place one day, and we were playing, I believe it was the day when we were playing Rygar, which is going to be an upcoming James and Mike Monday's video. And when we, when we played the game, um, sometimes we would go out and grab, grab a couple of beers, and he, um, some, something like, we went, we went out, he, he had, we ended up not, I think, playing like a minute of the game, and then we then we were doing other things, but the Rolling Rock thing started there. That was the first time he ever had it. So he did like it for a while, but it, but he's gotten more into like better, better, more expensive beers. And um, yeah, so it's he likes it, but not as much as other beers. And uh, my favorite beer, um, I don't really, I don't really drink a lot of beer, but uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I do like. Um, was the beer I like, uh, Hawk Roy, uh, original, I like Hawk Roy, it's pretty good. Yes? Yeah, um, I recently saw your video, you just did with your collection update. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah. Uh, what's your opinion about the old Pac-Man TV show? Is it the Henry Barber? <laughs> I, I used to watch the old Pac-Man. He's asking uh, what my opinion is of the Pac-Man cartoon. I used to watch uh, the Pac-Man cartoon as a kid. Um, I love anything that's Pac-Man, and as a kid, uh, you know, I loved anything that was Pac-Man, and I didn't really see how bad the cartoon was. Um, but now I look at it, and it's, it's kind of hard to watch. Like, that intro is, like, it's, it's not a very good cartoon. But I'll watch it now and, and, and enjoy it, but I know it's bad. It's kind of like like the Mario or Zelda cartoons. It's like, I know they're bad, but I enjoy them anyway. Yeah, you know, it's like that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, they're all about the same. They're you know, the size scrolling beat 'em ups, but they're but they're but they're a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of hands up here. Uh, yes. 
Um, I, I watched your video on the Wawa. Oh, you're talking about. <laughs> you're talking about you like the, the uh, different coffee they had and everything like that. The Kona coffee. Yeah, and I actually worked for a roasting facility here in. Uh, Dallas, and we specialize in Kona coffee. Yeah, I know, I know, like, I could go to the grocery store, I could get Kona coffee and other things, but it was like that specific Wawa coffee, it was like a little different, yeah. so, and I was just annoyed because it's so convenient, you can go in there, you can get the coffee, and it's really good, and... Yeah, sorry. I was just annoyed that they stopped selling it, but yeah, that's funny that you saw that video. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, uh, I did make a custom bag just for you, uh, through a company if you want it. Sure. Let me show you what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I gotta show this to you guys. So he, he gave me a uh, James and Mike Monday's Kona Coffee Brew from, we did a video about Wawa. <laughs> Thank you very much. He, he has one for James as well, so I will have to give this to him. Thank you. <laughs> James James likes his coffee too. We, we're both, we both go to Wawa a lot. So. <laughs> Was there an answer you wanted me to give besides Bill Brown Briggs? <laughs> That's about it. Uh, yes, with the blue shirt on there, right in front of me. Um, we all know James' opinion of actually what you do on NES. What's your personal opinion if you played it? Uh, I didn't. I didn't hear you say that. Again. We all know James. We all know that James hated Action 52 supposedly on the NES. Oh yeah. What was your opinion of the game? You know, I didn't play a whole heck of a lot of it. Uh, I did go through some of it when he was recording that video, which was, I don't know, what, seven years ago or something now, so it's been a long time, so I kind of forget. But I know that all I really remember about Action 52, other than, the, obviously, the cheat, all the cheat and stuff, which, that's the only part of it that's, like, the real was he, uh, game. Was he legitimately mad? Was he legitimately, legitimately angry at, the game, at having to play it? Um, that, you know, that one was just a big request, and people wanted him to do that one for a long time, and I used to talk to him about that video. We were going to do that the first year of The Nerd, but it was 50 games, and James was like, how am I going to do a video on 50 games when usually I just do, like, one game? So, basically, each one had to be, like, really sh a really short review, and then break it up into the second part, I guess, which was the Cheetah Man one, uh, because that was a longer, full game. So, I hope that answers what you're asking. So, you about ready? Okay, is that not usable or? Do you want to fix that first? Yeah, yeah, in a minute. Yeah, we'll do a couple, a few more minutes of this and then while you fix it. Okay, you want me to keep hitting select? Okay. Hey, we're having a little uh, uh, technical stuff we're trying to figure out. So we'll start the game in a few minutes. Um, yes? Cuphead. So, um, so I, first of all, I did a video with Ryan on Cuphead, and that was the first time we had ever played it, so I didn't even know how to play the game or about parrying, parrying or anything like that. And then um, I started live streaming the game. And if you guys don't know anything about Cuphead, um, it's a game that is stylized from 1930s animated um, cartoons, and it is, it's really awesome. If you, if you, who here likes Contra? Everybody. So it's basically Contra, and who here likes old cartoons? Everybody. So put those two things together, and there you go. That's that's basically Cuphead, and it's awesome. Uh, but the only thing about it is the game is really, really brutally difficult, um, which which I like, and I like games that are really, really difficult um, because it's something that you can always continually come back to. They have a lot of replay playability, you know, because it might take you years to beat the game, but it's you're getting your money's worth if it's if it's tough like that. If you beat a game the first time you play it, it's, then you're kind of done with it a lot of times. So I, I like hard games like that. I think they did a fantastic job, and I hope that there's a Cuphead 2 and other games in that style. But um, Ryan and I were going to do a video about Cuphead several years ago when they did the original like demo level of it. Um, but uh, we didn't because we wanted to wait until the full game was out. And it's, I think it's fantastic. I think, really, I think it's a good game. So, that answer your question. Okay. So, uh, yes, how you doing? Me? Yeah. Okay. Um, you remember the, the episode of Bird James when you guys did Buckethead? Mr. Bucket? Mr. Bucket? Yeah, yeah. the board game. Yeah, I, did a, I, I drew a picture of that for you. Oh, okay, Let, let's check it out. He's got a uh, Mr. Bucket. 
Is it that? Is it that? Oh, there you go. Let, let me see that. He's got four James in the attack of Mr. Bucket, and we got me, of course, all dressed in black. And I'm Mr. Bucket. I'm here to suck on your balls, Mr. Bucket. <laughs> so he's got, that's from a Born James episode we did, which uh, has a horror slant to it, where the bucket is a kid's product, and it comes alive and comes after us. That and Mystery Date are the best ones you guys ever did. Dream Pump. Dream Pump. Yes. Is Mystery Date a real funny? I feel like I've heard of that. So. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. Mike, did you actually voice Mr. Bucket in that episode? Yes, I was Mr. Bucket. Motorbucket. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's awesome. I love that you got the arms exactly the way they are, and his mouth is perfect, and James, that looks exactly like James. That would be nobody else other than James Roll right there, and that's nobody other than me. I think it's fantastic. So thank you very much. Here's your book back. Thanks a lot. Um, While well, the technical crew is, is going over there. Uh, yes. What was the first video game you bought with your own money? What was the first video game I bought with my own money? Um, that's a really good question. Um, I think. <laughs> wow, I'm trying. I'm trying to think back. You're really jogging my memory here. Um, now, I remember. I, well, well, the only thing I can really remember right now is that when the Super Nintendo was coming out, I had—I probably had about 60 or 70 NES games, something like that. I had a lot, but I had no money, and it wasn't like about to be my birthday. It wasn't Christmas. It was some other time of the year, and I wanted the Super Nintendo. And um, I went to Funko Land, and I sold well, my NES. I think I—I I don't know if I sold the system, but I sold all my games, um, and I got almost enough money to buy the Super Nintendo, and then there's some money that I had in my pocket, and I took all that, and I went out and I bought the Super Nintendo, and you might think that wasn't the best decision, but I was really happy at the time, because I loved Super Mario World, which I do to this day, and I, as much as I can remember right now, that was probably one of the first things that I bought with my own money, because I had to sell all my, because <laughs> I didn't have a job, you know, so, so probably that. Um, so, anybody else? Yeah? Kind of in the vein of the same question. Uh, do you remember what was the first uh, console game you ever beat? What was the first console game I ever beat? Um, I know I beat Zelda when I was a kid. Are we ready? We're ready. All right. So, um, yeah, we are going to be playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, the Manhattan Project. So, what's going on here? Where's the camera? So, you're here. Okay. We're talking about that. Okay. Okay, we're not ready. <laughs> This is like, okay, longer Q&A session. Uh, yes, how you doing? Um, I just wanted to ask you and James, pretty much. Um, uh, some years ago, I think it was around 2012, why, uh, why did you and James decide to censor your comments throughout your videos and his channel. There is a thing that anybody would have on YouTube, which is like a spam filter. So I would believe that a lot of times um, comments get marked as spam and... No, um, there were many people on YouTube that were very clearly showing that uh, the comments were not... They were, they were not, not nice comments. Like Clearly, you and James were deciding to delete that manual. Maybe. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I did in 2012. <laughs> it's possible. Can't you remember why you... Probably because people were being assholes, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Couldn't, couldn't be on the internet. <laughs> well, there it is. So, uh, well, put it down I had it up here. Yes. Just so I'd be off the floor. I just, you know. To be remade? If, if my favorite game was going to be remade, what kind? Like, like, if, like, how do you say, like, if you just found out your favorite game, and it's not going to come out. Yeah. Yeah, like if they were gonna make like a new Zelda, like would it matter what system? Um, 
Oh, sometimes it depends. Like for example, for Zelda, um, if you're talking about some of my favorite franchises, I they just did. Actually, let's use the Metroid example that, that Ryan and I just did. We just played Metroid Returns, um, the, the 3DS game, which is a great game, but why isn't it on the actual system? Why isn't it on the Switch? So there's occasions like that where I'm like, yeah, great game, but why can't we have it on, on the console? Yeah. I know why? Hey, like, yes, yeah, so are we ready? I, I really like uh, Ninja Turtles 3. I do too. I want to let you know. I, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah. So the, the whole idea of us sitting down and, and doing this, instead of doing a regular Q&A, the idea of it was basically, this is the actual show. This is how we do it. There's a camera, there's a capture card, we record audio. It's, yeah, that's, that's a question that I get a lot, uh, yeah. as well as like, how do you guys record this stuff? How do you guys make the videos? So as you can see, there's a, there's a lot going on, um, especially with something like this. But yeah, essentially, if, you know, if you want the answer to that question, uh, you know, there, there's, you want to answer that question, why don't you take yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean it's, pretty much, it's pretty much exactly like this. We, you know, we use XSplit to capture, we use a camera, usually it's a bigger camera, but same thing. Um, right. We capture audio individually. Um, we play it on the TV. And I always prefer to, uh, if we can, we're not doing it today. We don't have like all our stuff hooked up uh, ideally. Today we're playing on the Retron HD. Normally I would like to play on like a regular NES because I have all my NES stuff uh, modded with RGB. So I prefer. We are using the actual cartridge. This is. This Retron HD is, I believe, like you said, it's not like the Retron 5 where that's like an emulator. This plays it off the actual console. Yeah, is that it, true? It, it's, I mean, it is a system on a chip, but it's not an emulator. So there you go. So we try to do things as authentic as we can if we are able. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, so let's get into it. All right. Um, you're anyway, come, come in. Turn that a little yeah, bit. Turn that that. I need to. Yeah. So you're. So, uh, if you uh, haven't, uh, check out some of my other Retropalooza videos I've done. Uh, the other panels of uh, Andre, uh, Black Nerd Comedy, and Alpha Omega Sin, uh, which I did last year. So check those out, as well as some of my other uh, videos. So uh, thank you, and have a good day.